Hello everyone, hi YouTube. Just uh, doing a quick update, uh, showing you how I do my water change on my 75 gallon African cichlid tank. Um, uh, I do the good old siphon and five gallon bucket, you know, the original way. I don't have a, the luxury of a python or a, a aquaclear siphon connection hooks up to the sink. Uh, wish I had one of those, but I think the faucet ends on my sinks wouldn't uh, work with the adapter that comes with. Uh, but anyways, uh, right now I've uh, just got done doing about maybe a, say a good old maybe 35% water change. Uh, it's just because I refilled the tank with hose water because uh, I don't have room temperature water so I can't drain the tank too much and I don't want to put them in a temperature shock so it keeps it in the green safe zone uh, this way um, so yeah just uh, uh, refilling it um, all the fish are you know kind of stressed out but that's normal but uh, yeah got my sponge rubbed off the scraped off the algae that was building up on the front glass um, fed them this morning I uh, noticed one of my fish had a little sunken belly, so I scooped him out and put him in my quarantine tank, so I'm going to go ahead and treat him. All the other fish seem fine. It's just the one fish I had, he was all beaten up uh, on his fins, and then I noticed when he put his dorsal fins out, he had a lot of sunken waist, so I'm hoping, you know, I can treat that. And hopefully none of the other fish got parasites, uh, but we'll see. Let's see if I can heal them up and get them back to his tip-top shape. But here I am uh, filling in this water change, uh, and I will go ahead and continue this video once it gets filled. All right, thank you. Okay, back again. Um, Water's all filled up in the tank. I use uh, every water change. I, of course, uh, you know, I use Seachem Prime, and I also use Seachem Sick of the Lake Salt, and then the Malawi Victoria Buffer. Uh, keeps my pH good about 7, 8, 8. Um, but yeah, I uh, just got done filling up the water, so now I'm going to go ahead and add the salt and the pH buffer. Because uh, the water out of our tap is very acidic, so I gotta add the buffer, um, which helps rise the pH and makes the water more hard and alkaline. Okay, so I have some sea camp flourish to help with my aquatic plants. Uh, add that during every water change as well, um, so the plants stay nice and healthy and uh, grow. But now I'm completely done with the water change. Uh, tank's looking good. Uh, got a lot of glare. Sorry for the glare because it's natural sunlight's coming in the house right now. But uh, as you can see, everything looks good. Tip top shape. Fish are swimming actively and everything is a okay. Well, thanks for tuning in. Hope everyone has a great day. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel and having interest to watching uh, my channel. All right, thank you. Bye.